Welcome to the second example of solving the beam for the deflection by double integration method. Right now we are required to find out the deflection of the beam at this point. Let's call this as point B. That has value of x as tan phi. Let's have a look at the consideration and steps we discussed earlier. In these steps and considerations for this beam, the general moment equation will be formed by free body diagram. Variations were already found, which we discussed in previous examples. Let's say this is distance x. This distance was 20 feet. Since the section is not cutting this UDL, so we need to extend this UDL till the section and apply equal and opposite UDL to make sure that the beam remains in equilibrium. And this is also 10 kip per fit. Here, the moment is here. This distance would be the distance x minus 20 feet. This is the distance x and this is 20 feet. So this distance would definitely be minus 20 feet. This is 100 kip reaction force. And here again 100 kip reaction force. This one. So performing the general mo equation, moment equation, we sum up the moment over this point. That is m plus oh, m minus 100 into x that is this 100 into this distance then plus 100 into x minus 20 that is this reaction into the lever arm x minus 20 actually it wouldn't be having a negative sign since both of them are rotating clockwise while we assumed anti-clockwise as positive plus 10 that is this into the distance for the force and the lever arm would be x by 2 for this UDL and this UDL is rotating in clockwise direction so it would be negative 10 into the distance that is this where it is acting and its lever arm would be over 2 is equals to 0 we know that e i theta is equals to integral of moment which gives us 100 For the moment equation, we would have to take this m over this side of the equation. So it would have become something like an integration, integration of that equation will give 100x square over 2 plus 100x minus 20 square over 2 plus 5x cube that is this x square becomes x cube over 2 over 3 basically plus 5x that is this minus 20 cube is 
this will multiply this and it is already in square form so after integration it will become q plus c1 let's call this as equation number one by integrating this equation we will get the equation of deflection that is 50x cube over 3 plus 50x minus 20x cube over 3 plus 5x power 4 over 12 plus 5x minus 20 power 4 over 12 plus c1x plus c2 let's call this as equation number 2 now for c1 and c2 we need to solve these equations simultaneously which requires the boundary conditions the boundary conditions for the beam would be at x is equals to 0 at x is equals to 0 we know that there is no deflection since there is a hinge support delta is equals to 0 in equation number 2 that is this equation we put delta is equals to 0 and x is equals to 0 we get the value of c2 as zero the second boundary condition would be at x is equals to 20 feet deflection is equals to zero in equation number two with c2 is equals to zero we get value of c1 as minus 3333 Now substituting the value of c1 and c2 into equation number 2 we will get an equation as at x is equals to 10 fit we get the deflection as minus 20833.33 fit over e i the negative value represents that it is downwards thanks for watching